Hello and welcome everyone, this is Chris. In this short lesson, I'm going to talk you through money that we use in Britain and different types we have here. Please enable English captions to read along. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you most of the coins and notes. We use for measurement of our money, pence and pounds, a hundred pence in every pound. Starting off with the coins or coinage, one pence, one p we refer to it as. Here we are, there's one pence, and two pence or two p is this one. And together they're called coppers because it's the name of the metal, the brown metal. Coppers, one p here. 2p here. Now there's silver coins, we have many of these. Here's 5p, a very small one, and 10p there. 5p and 10p. A couple more. 20p and 50p. 20, 50. Now one pound, there we are, a one pound coin. You can, a couple of slang terms for a pound are one bob or quid. Quid, Q-U-I-D, but you don't add an S in the plural if you use quid. It's quite a popular term. For example, I need five quid. He won one million quid on the lottery. So these are our currency, which is called uh, pound sterling, and the abbreviation is GBP. I think is in Great British Pound. You often see it noted like that. Those are some of the coins that we use. And now notes. We have a slang term for these notes that I'm about to show you. This is for five pounds. It's a green color. And there you can see the Queen's face, Queen Lizzie. Five pound note, fiver. That is the slang term, fiver. And now, 10 pound note. It's orange, 10 pounds. Slang term is a tenner. We also have a 20 pound note, which is a purple tinge. 1,000 pounds. There are two slang terms for this amount. A grand, as in his new car cost eight grand. Again, not adding the S for the plural. Another one, very unusual this one to be honest, so not particularly useful. Large. As in that new kitchen would you would set you back ten large. And a few confusing verbs I wanted to explain related to money. Borrow. If you borrow money, it means you take it from someone else, and the agreement is you will give it back to them. Lend, that's the other side of it, when you give someone money and they have to give it back to you. Oh is the verb, when you have the money, you have borrowed it from someone else, you owe it to them. And these tie into a very famous line from Shakespeare, neither a borrower nor a lender be. He is warning against borrowing and, and lending money because it can cause all kinds of problems in, in society and relationships. That is the end of this lesson about money and slang in Britain. I hope it was useful. Many thanks to Yovana from Chile uh, for suggesting it. I think it was probably a good idea. Please do use the YouTube channel as always and check out the other lessons already on there. And please see in the description under the video on the YouTube page for this lesson about other free websites, for example, Facebook, 
Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus, uh, and quite a few others. The main one is www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk. On that site, you can find the British Slang Podcast. And the British Accent Podcast series, always free, is on podomatic.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are well. My best wishes to you and everyone. Take care. I will see you next time.